Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and today I'm going to be explaining the basics of making a resource pack. You probably hear me talk about it a lot in my other series, series is, I don't really care what it is, and I got enough requests for how to make resource packs that I think it's finally time for me to make a video about it. So let's get started. I recommend you do this on a computer, because even though it's possible on Android devices, it's a lot harder, and if you want to easily type lots of file names, which you have to because you're making a resource pack, it's best to have a computer. This guide also assumes you have Windows 10 Edition installed, because if you don't, you have to transfer your pack to another device every single time you want to test it, which will make it a lot harder, and I'm not going to be giving a guide on how to transfer it to different devices. Once you're on a computer, Go to minecraft.net slash add-ons, I have it linked in the description so you can get to it really easily, and scroll down until you see this, this box of text, and click on the green resource packs text, and you should start downloading a zip file of the default files that are included on the most recent version. These are the resource pack files that the game uses by default, so all the normal textures and sounds and stuff. If you want to know how to get the beta files, keep watching. If you just want the release versions, then skip to this time on the screen right now in the video. To get the most recent betas files, you'll need an Android device. Join the Minecraft beta on the Play Store, and you also have to own Minecraft, obviously. So join the most recent beta on the Play Store and install the update. It'll take a few minutes for the update to appear, so be patient. Once you installed the update, open Minecraft to make sure you're on the beta. You'll know by this annoying text that appears at the top of the screen whenever you're on the beta. It is... It's annoying, but it's a great indicator that you've installed the right version. Next, install the app ES File Explorer. This lets you extract app APKs, and it's how we're going to get the files. Open ES and click the three lines in the top left corner of the screen. Scroll down until you see the Library button and tap that. Choose the App button, it's in all caps so it's pretty obvious, and you'll now see a list of every single app you have installed on your device, even ones you can't edit, like Android-based system apps. So, don't mess with anything here. Just search for Minecraft using the search button in the top right corner, and once you find it, tap on it, and then click View APK Content. You're now in Minecraft's files. The folders you'll want to click on are Assets, and then click Resource Packs. Tap and hold on the vanilla folder so that it's selected, like in the video, and then click copy in the bottom right corner. Go back to the home tab now, just basically scroll left until you can't scroll left any further, or tap at the top of the screen. Then tap on internal storage, then the paste button in the bottom right corner. Tap on the vanilla folder that you just pasted in here so that it opens it, then tap and hold on any file in here, and then click Select all at the top of the screen. Next, press more in the bottom right corner and then compress. Press OK, then you should wait for this process to finish. It takes a little while, but you are compressing every single file here into one. Then tap and hold on the zip file, press cut on the bottom of the screen, press the zero near the top of the screen, and then tap on paste again. Now you can delete the vanilla folder by tapping and holding, then pressing delete at the bottom of the screen. Uncheck the Recycle Bin, then tap OK, and the folder should be permanently deleted. Next, connect your device to a computer, which you should be able to connect with their charging cord. and make sure when it plugs in that you scroll down from the top of the home screen and choose Connection for Data Transfer, or whatever your device says. A lot of devices don't make you enable that, so if you don't see that when you scroll down, you should be fine. On the computer, navigate to this PC and choose your device that appears. Double-click to open it, locate your file, which is the zip file that's vanilla.zip, cut it with Control x on the keyboard, and then paste it, Control v into your Downloads folder. Finally, you can uninstall the ES app and the Minecraft beta if you want to. 
Now that you have your default files in a zip folder in your downloads folder, unzip it. Just right click, click, extract, and then just click OK. It should be really easy. Now this folder that you just unzipped is extremely important because it's going to be what you look at to figure out what to call your files. Rename it to something like Vanilla Resources or Bedrock Edition Default Files or something, you know, something that'll tell you exactly what it is, and then put it in a safe place. You can also pin it to Quick Access with right click and then clicking pin to Quick Access if you want to be able to get to it really, really easily. Now, we're going to open a second instance of File Explorer, so right click the tab in the taskbar and then click File Explorer again, it's very simple. Then create a new folder in your downloads, Control N. Name this folder whatever you want your resource pack to be called. Next, go back to your other file explorer, which should still have the default files open. Copy, with control C, the manifest.json file and paste it into the new folder you just created in your downloads. This is now your resource packs folder. You're almost ready to make your pack. If you have Windows 10 edition, we're going to move your resource pack folder into the game's files so you can test it in-game quickly. In the description of this video, there's a file path. Copy that and open another file explorer. Open any folder in your documents, there should be at least one, then click the bar at the top of the explorer. Delete everything after users slash your name, as shown in the video, then paste the file path from the description. Press enter and you should now be in Windows 10 Edition's resource underscore packs folder. Go back to your downloads folder in a different file explorer instance, then cut and paste your resource pack folder into the resource underscore packs folder in the Windows 10 edition files. Right click on your resource pack folder that you just moved and click pin to quick access to make sure you don't lose it later. Now you can access your resource pack folder without the crazy long resource file path process and instead just clicking the folder pinned on the side of file explorer at all times. From here, we're going to edit your manifest.json to make your resource pack unique. Reopen your resource pack folder and double click the manifest.json. If Windows asks what to open it with, click more apps, notepad, and make sure the always open with box is checked and press okay. This screen here might seem confusing, but it's actually really simple. Just let me explain it. First, change the name to whatever you want your pack to be called. Make sure you keep the quotation marks and commas and all those other marks. Don't touch them, just change the text inside the quotations to change the name. And that's actually true for every single box in this file. Next, we're going to change the description in the description line, which is noted by the huge description in quotations, and change that to whatever you want your description to be. And that's actually in two places, so put it down in the second box too. I call it a box, but it's really more of just a line, so I'll just say line from here on out. Change the version from 001 to 100 to mark the first iteration of your pack. I'll talk in a later video about how you can properly use the version number of your resource packs. And don't touch the min underscore engine underscore version, though. That is what makes new horses look correct. So if you delete that, they'll go back to the old model, and that doesn't, that will just break a lot of things. So don't, don't touch that, okay? Don't touch min engine version. Finally, we need to change the UUID lines, which stands for Universally Unique Identifier, and not Unique User Identification, which is what I incorrectly said in the Panorama tutorial video. Go to uuidgenerator.net, it's linked in the description, as everything else in this video is. In the box under Bulk Version 1 UUID, type 2 and click Generate. Two UUIDs should now appear under the box. They look similar, but are actually different in a few letters, so don't worry. Highlight them manually like I show in the video, because if you don't, it sometimes selects hidden things and that can just copy extra text which will make it harder to edit your file, so just make sure you manually highlight the UUIDs and copy it, and then paste it into the first UUID line in your manifest. Do the exact same with the second line, the second UUID, into the second line of your manifest. Now you should have replaced the UUIDs, click save, and then close notepad. Now that you've got the UUIDs in place, your pack should appear in-game. So launch Windows 10 Edition and open the Global Resources tab in Settings. You should see the name and description of your pack you just created right here. 
the, the icon is missing and the pack doesn't actually do anything yet, but you've got it created. Close Windows 10 Edition now and we can add a basic icon. Go back to the default files folder, open textures, blocks, and choose anything from here that doesn't have transparency, like glass or leaves, to be your icon. This is te just temporary, and it's easy to change later, but for now we need to have one so the ugly pink and black image isn't plaguing your resource packs tab. Copy the texture you want to be your icon, and paste it in your resource pack folder. You should now have two things in this folder, which are the manifest and the texture. Rename the texture, with F2, to pack underscore icon, and press enter, and that should be it. Do one final test by opening Windows 10 Edition. Make sure you can see the icon and the pack name and the description, and that they look correct, and that's where we're going to end this video. But there will be more videos later that will go more in depth into how you actually create your pack, editing the JSON files, doing the version numbers and stuff, you know. There will be more, I promise, but for now, that's going to be the end of this video. Since you have the default files, though, you can experiment for yourself by, like, messing with them and seeing if you can figure out how the textures work. But for now, I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.